welcome to another Form Titan video on Page Break Basics 101. <coughs> and Page Break is a very, very handy element because it will allow you to build multiple pages within one form. And, um, you know, if you have a huge amount of forms, like 10 or 10, 12 different pages, and instead of using tabs, you want to use Page Break, then <coughs> this is a video for you. So I'll give you a very... Um, uh, much an introduction to what page break is and then we'll elaborate in further videos on some of its functionality so let's get started in our elements we'll type in page break and you can just drag it and it will slot on the left here <coughs> so right now page one one so let's just drag a couple of elements here to make it look like we have some data and we'll just yep grab a URL another URL so that's our page one okay so what if we wanted to add another page what we'll do is we'll click on this element here under settings we'll say add now there's a page two if you want to name your pages then you simply click the page break element and then say <coughs> address page which is your page one and then your next page you can just call it map page and that's how you uh, label a specific page within the page break itself. So we'll drag a Google map here. Apply. Apply this. There you go. So that's our page two. And what if we wanted to duplicate a specific page like this one here? So what we do is we'll click the page break again. Click settings and click duplicate and here you go it's got into page three and it's duplicated everything from page one so that's how you duplicate something we'll get rid of this for now and we'll call this page calendar page and we'll move a calendar here <coughs> there you go okay so so far we've covered how to get a page break, how to add another page, how to duplicate a page. So these are the functionalities that are just covered in here. You can also untick it so it doesn't stick to the footer and it will stick all the way to the bottom of the page. But if you tick it, it will <coughs> stick to the footer for you. Um, I prefer to have it that way, but that's completely up to you and how you want it. And Final one is if you want to know how to delete a specific page rather than deleting the entire form Because you want to be really mindful. You don't want to click this because what it will do is it will do that It will delete everything um, Or sorry delete that specific element and then if that element isn't highlighted it, it will end up deleting everything so but if you want to delete a specific page you simply do this you click on the um, page break element settings and then just click delete and it will say you are about to delete page two are you okay with that I'm saying yes and it's gone so those are the very simple uh, page break basics on how to uh, first <coughs> get the page break and add it onto your layout how to get it to stick to a footer how to add a new page how to delete the page how to duplicate the page very, very simple and in the next couple of videos, we'll dis uh, discover more about this specific feature. Thank you for watching this video.